If you want to avoid the disappointment of buying the wrong spec of the Lenovo laptop, Chromebook or desktop, or just want to check the full spec that may not be given in an online advert, then I can hopefully help you with this video. One thing I try and stress in my Chromebook reviews is the importance of checking the exact spec of the device you're looking to buy. Take this, the Lenovo 300e third gen Chromebook. In my reviews you may have seen my one came with a stylus, but there's options that mean you may not get that. That could be a real deal breaker for somebody. Thankfully Lenovo, more than any other manufacturer I've seen, make it incredibly easy to check the exact spec of any model. So I wanted to show you how you can do this from any advert you're looking at online or how to check on a Lenovo laptop or Chromebook that you already own. Let me take you through an example to show you what I mean. Let's use this, the Lenovo IdeaPad 3i 15.6 inch Chromebook that I recently reviewed. And we'll start where you'd normally start looking at an advert online. So here I am on Curry's in the UK looking at this exact model, the IdeaPad 3i 15.6 inch. And what we're going to be looking for is the 10 digit code for this unique model. So it's sometimes known as the part number or the MPN, which is the manufacturer's part number or the MTN, which is the machine type and model. So I'm going to come down to the product information. It's not that product code there. That's going to be something for the seller curries in this case. Um, it's giving a lot of good information, but let's keep going, see if we can find the spec section. Da, 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 da. Yeah, OK, so there's all sorts in here on Chrome OS. Here we go, specs. So let's click through into here. Um, and OK, I've spotted it straight away, but so you know what you're looking for. It's going to be a 10 digit code. It's going to end in your country code. So for me, it's UK. In the States, it'll end US. In Germany, it's GE. In France, it's FR. There's others following those patterns and some that are not so obvious, but you'll see them in a bit. But yeah, that's what I'm looking for. So as soon as you found that, you're going to take a copy of it. And then you're going to head over to Google and you're going to type in PS ref. And that should bring up a result for the product specifications reference uh, page, psref.lenovo.com. Click into that and then we're going to paste our uh, part number up in the search bar and see. Yeah, there we go. Click on the result that comes through and here we've got it. Yeah. Definitely the machine we were looking at. There's the model reference. Um, it's going to have the uh, kind of internal uh, series or machine reference up here. And then it's got the whole spec, everything, obviously the processor, the RAM, uh, but details on, you know, whether it's soldered or not, which is often going to be the storage speakers, battery, screen type. And as you know, from my review on this one, I've got the TN screen, which obviously isn't the best option out there. You'd hopefully be able to get an IPS screen, but let's just say at the moment, we're not sure, but we've seen that we've got a TN screen on this model. Okay, so loads of information there on the spec, that's great. But what about if we want to compare to a similar spec of this machine or know that we're getting the best options that we can? What you can do in that case is click up on uh, the title of the series, as I say, IdeaPad 3 Chrome and then this code, and that's going to take you up one level to this page. So this is really useful. So this is going to give you things like a load of pictures, um, showing the machine from different angles, the different colors. You've got a 360 view if you want to play that. But also over here, pay attention to this bit. So you've got basically the max uh, specs for it. So up to the Pentium Silver N6000. So we've got the N6000 in the one I'm looking at. So that's great. Um, up to eight gig of RAM. Well, I haven't got eight gig of RAM. I've only got four. So I might be interested in looking at an option that's got eight gig. Um, I've got the max storage at 128 gig and the screen. OK, this is the bit I'm interested in. So it can go up to a full HD IPS 300 nit touchscreen. Now, that's obviously not the case in the one I was looking at. As we saw a second ago, uh, this one has got a TN screen. So just come back to that and scroll down. Yep. So full HD, uh, but it's TN and it's not as bright at 220 nits. So that's pretty interesting to see straight away what's sort of the max spec of this machine. And then what you really want to do is click into models over here. And then you can see every single configuration there is out there. As I say, you've got all these countries and the regions and you see how the uh, the codes sort of line up to those, some more obvious than others, as I say. 
what I'm going to do is start by filtering and I'd suggest you do the same as filter it to your country so you can see what's going to be available to you locally. So I'm going to pop down here, select UK and filter. So straight away I've gone from, I think I checked earlier, there were over 100 configurations or about 100 configurations for this machine worldwide. Um, in the UK, obviously that's brought down to about uh, 11 or so that we've got here. And you can start to see straight away, okay, what kind of config can I get on this machine? Am I buying the best one out there or not? Or is there something that I really want that I want to check for? So for example, you might go to the processor straight away. So let's say I, I definitely want the Pentium Silver N6000. I don't want the Celeron. Let's filter that down again, sort of whittling down the options a bit more. Uh, let's see what else we've got. So RAM, yeah, I'd really like the, uh, the eight gig rather than the four. So let's filter to that. Um, all of them have the max amount of storage, which is great, but here we go, the screen. So TN, 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 there's only one with an IPS option. So I'm just gonna filter it just so we only have that one result. But there we go, I've got an IPS screen. However, it's not touch. So in the UK, I clearly can't get an option of this model with the N6000 with eight gig of RAM and a touch screen. And if those are the most important things to me, I might say, okay, I'm going to sacrifice the, the touch screen. Um, so let's go back over. So yeah, so this is the code that I'm now interested in. So I can actually just click into that again and load up the specific page for this um, model or, or part number. And I can see all the, um, the spec that I've just picked, plus obviously everything else that I didn't pick just to confirm that it looks right. And then I can take that part number, I guess, and, and pop that into Google and then see if I can find an option to buy that in the UK. If we just stick that into our search and then I can see straight away, OK, on the uh, the business page at Curry's, it's available. And um, yeah, hopefully be able to find a way to buy the actual model that I want rather than one that maybe didn't have quite the spec I was looking for. So let me know in the comments if this has been a useful video. Do give it a like if so. And if you want to check out another video from the channel, here's one that the YouTube algorithm thinks you're going to like.